closer. I just came out of the shower. I thought I'd start this documenting process because <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, but <gasps> your old friend acne has come back. I've started getting all this like chin acne again. It's like super bumpy. I have all these little white bumps around here. I also started getting like this huge pimple and then this one. And then I couldn't help myself but I started running my fingers through my nose and I started feeling all these pores that were just so congested. And then on my forehead it is scaly. It's really bad during the day. It's like ultimate dehydration, it's itchy, it's irritated, something's gone south. So that probably coupled also with some hormonal action because it is concentrated on this chin area. I'm just gonna take you through the week of like what I do to kind of heal, address this situation and bring my skin back to life. So let's go to my room. I have a bunch of skincare and this is just the stuff that I like revolve around lately. So you will see me kind of chop and changing a little bit. And before we jump into it, a portion of this video is sponsored by It Cosmetics because they're coming out with a new serum. So first starting off with Tower 28. This is the Daily Rescue Facial Spray that I've been trying for the last couple of days. It had all the words that I wanted to hear. SOS, save our skin. Yes, please save our skin. And it's got this ingredient called the Hypochlorous Acid, which apparently helps to reduce redness and support the skin's renewal process. Okay. It's like quite an intense spray. So with this one, I don't actually know if it's doing anything, but I do feel that it's hydrating and my skin isn't as like itchy and irritated. It's also like got a really weird kind of subtle smell. And then because the spray is so intense, it gets into my lips and then I lick it and it's like salty, but you know, I don't mind these things. As long as it's working to soothe my skin, then I am mad. Moving on to the serum step, which is our targeting step. I'm gonna go in with the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout. Bye bye. <laughs> this is the new serum. It's got a mixture of salicylic acid, lactic acid, as well as niacinamide, and also probiotics. So this is the first day that I'm using it. So you guys are going to see with me how well this works to help my active breakouts as well as the kind of hyperpigmentation and all of this like texture on my skin. I love the combination because salicylic acid 2% is really effective for helping to calm down inflammation but help to minimize and reduce active breakouts and lactic acid is one of the more gentle chemical exfoliants which can also be somewhat hydrating to the skin as well and I'm actually really excited that this had some postbiotic fermentation because anything fermented and postbiotic, probiotic, prebiotic will really just help the skin's microbiome build. The thing I love about this though is that it's got a really watery consistency which is perfect for right now. So first night we shall see how that goes. For moisturizer I've been kind of using a bunch of different ones but for the most part when I'm really itchy I use the Oat So Simple water cream because of the oat in it. Anything with oat completely calms the skin down in terms of itchiness. You know, I'll use my mugwort, I'll use my centella if it's irritated and dry in any other way, but the mugwort or centella doesn't help with my 
itchy flaky skin and like rough only oat does it's only got like 10 ingredients i also think it's perfect to pair with a serum with active ingredients so that you can just let those ingredients do their job without complicating it this is from medicube it has one percent centella so i just put this over like those areas that are really bumpy and a little bit of self-care. I'm gonna go in with the quarterly. So this is the eye cream, the Premier Cru La Creme eye cream. Comes out of there. One minute meditative process. So I'm just gonna tap this in. Voila, guys. I'll see you in the morning and we'll continue our routine. Do you ever feel like you didn't even sleep and the sun's up already? Skin meat world. Let's go. Wash our face. Oh my god, let me show you what gives me the greatest joy in life. Seeing my messy living room with sunlight. Let's do our skincare. For the morning, I just pick whatever is closest in my reach. My favorite wind. Trust me, you will love this orange blossom. And then emulsify. It's probably the most gentle cleanser and is such a joy to use. Nothing like a splash of cold water to wake you up. <laughs> so this is the state of my face this morning. It's actually gone down a lot. Like, these aren't active anymore. It's just hyperpigmentation. There's still a scar here. This guy is still here. I'm very tempted to like pop this thing and put a pimple sticker on it. We will see. This one doesn't really feel like anything. It's just like under the skin. Under the skin, under the skin. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna use this Pyongkang Yule Black Tea Deep Infusion Toner. I love it. It has fermented black tea. Love anything with black tea because of the antioxidant. Oh, I can feel that scaliness. Oh my god. And it's not just like dry skin, it's literally like tiny bumps all across my forehead. So yeah, antioxidants during the day because we want to fight the environmental stresses and free radicals in the air to help with aging, especially in very polluted cities like Nouveau York. And then I'm going to go in with two to three drops of the Bye Bye Breakout Serum. You can put it on night and day. Obviously, just during the day, you want to wear sunscreen. It's actually really dewy. Down the neck, because I have neck pimples. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of the Crave again. Just want to seal in all that first. The sunscreen I've been loving that is also new to the store is the Anessa Sun Milk. Oh my god, it is so pretty. It gives you such a nice glow. Do you see how runny that is? I would say this one is much more nourishing than the Biore gel essence. Although I really love the Biore, I feel maybe if you have drier skin, maybe you want something that's a little more like moisturizing. This is it, guys. It is cosmetically beautiful. ASMR. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is not bad. No added sugar. How is this possible? It's, like, slightly sweet. I was not expecting it to be this good. Guys, what is this? 
And that's it. Now I'm gonna get dressed and go into the office because we're actually filming something today. Hola! Just came home and as you can see, I have a full face of makeup on. So it is time, as Adele says it, when the sky falls. We do our skincare. <laughs> okay, I also want to show you, if you can see, when I wear makeup, this is how dry my skin has been. So because I have makeup on, we're first starting off with the new baby. This is Crave's The Makeup Rewind Transforming Jelly Oil Cleanser. I'm not gonna talk too much about it now because today we just filmed a video all about some new faves we've been using, but it looks like this. And I'm just going to melt away all my waterproof makeup. Very important when you have any sort of like problematic skin in terms of inflammation or just compromised skin barrier that you do a really gentle but thorough cleanse. I love this face halo to take off everything. It is so gentle. It is so soft and it just like grips onto any skincare oil grime. Skincare! So update on this. I feel like it is actually helping with irritation. I'm just gonna spray it into my hand. It's just like a really intense spray. They just need to like calm down a little. My skin today was not itchy. It wasn't like painful, it didn't sting. And that's actually the interesting thing is like for me to relearn how to use acne products with gentle chemical exfoliants. Following on with the serum, I'm actually pretty impressed by this in that there are chemical exfoliants in there, right? I actually feel like it's doing just enough like the perfect amount to help and shed this dead skin up here very slowly but without it causing any sort of additional irritation because of all the other ingredients that are skin barrier friendly that's working with it and i love how lightweight it is but it still feels nourished for today Ro actually, we filmed and she introduced me to like a really creamy sleeping mask or a moisturizing mask. This is from Caudalie. It's the Vino Source Hydra Moisturizing Mask. It says to put it on, use it for 10 minutes, but she said she's using it as a sleeping mask. There's Centella Asiatica, there's grape water, all really soothing ingredients with antioxidants to help my skin repair and if your skin is ever feeling like compromised it's really important to have hydrating ingredients and really soothing calming ingredients i'm actually going to use the hero rescue balm this is their post blemish recovery cream and i'm just going to apply this over this area it's just got Panthenol, beta-glucan, oligopeptides, so it's also building up the skin. And then over this active pimple, I'm gonna use the Bliss Acne Spot Treatment to just dab over just that area to give it more of an oomph. Okay guys, so I have my trusty microscope. We thought it would be fun to show you what an active pimple looks like. Oh my god, you can see all this skincare and it's like kind of gross. I should have done this before. Guys, this is my hyperpigmentation. There's nothing under here. Like it's just flat. It, it's like a society that got evacuated. There once was living organisms and things here, but now it's just flat. So that is this guy right here all flat now let me show you this guy oh guys guys that's so gross can you see it you can see these like tiny little red dots and like all the white blood cells that have been 
scent here to attack the inflammation. Oh my god, and like, what are these hairs? That's so gross. <laughs> oh god. We will see tomorrow what the skin looks like. Hello guys. Wow, it's golden hour and like the sun is setting right here. This morning I forgot completely to document my situation but an exciting thing happened because this pimple, I woke up and it was like the juiciest yellow Mount Fuji I had seen in a really, really long time. And I was just washing my face. I was like kind of playing with it to see if it would just like burst the little skin membrane. And it did. And then throughout the day, it basically dried up and like it's completely gone down oh my god and guys i'm so excited that like weird flakiness that was going on is like almost completely gone so everything that we've been using has been working absolute chef's kiss <laughs> check back in with you in a little bit when i do my routine for tonight see you in a bit oh my god guys so I ate and then I was lying down on the couch and I was like, I'm gonna take a 10 minute nap. Oh my God, 10 minute nap turned into a full on, I don't even know. It is 1.56 right now. It's like almost two o'clock. And I still have all the, gr look how glistening my skin. <gasps> Why does this happen? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, let's go take this makeup off. Whatever you do, you gotta wash your face. <sighs> so shiny. Mm, the texture of my skin feels so much better. I can tell especially like in my cleansing. It's not rough anymore. It's not like sandpaper everywhere. Fresh. This is the La Roche-Posay Thermal Water and I love the mist. It's so fine and it's so like whoosh. Oh yeah. And then, oh my God, guys, I was like randomly just sitting at work at my table and I realize what this reminds me of. It's like after I do a really hectic workout and I'm sweating all over and I lick my lips and it's like sweat. <laughs> I don't know if that's the best description of anything. I mean, I ain't mad because it's been doing all sorts of goodness. Then, going into this guy, I honestly think this has helped so much. I'm actually amazed. First of all, even though my skin was sensitive and compromised, it didn't react overall. This forehead, it's in a much better situation than when we started. Oh my God, when we started, it was insane. So very happy with this state of development. Which must do we? Okay, another fave. It is the Wind Casba Moonlight. The ever so beautiful Casba Moonlight. It is a transforming cream to oil moisturizer. And it is just beautiful. Mm. And like there's this cream to oil effect. Oh, I feel it. It's burst, and now it's like hydration nation. Cheers. Oh, um, can the lights just turn off themselves. 
Another day, another messy living room. <laughs> I don't know, but my tree looks kind of sad. I think it's dehydrated. Bloop. Ooh. Little status update. Oh my God, guys. My skin is like popping back to living its best life. This guy has is completely flat now. Flat. These little guys chilling out are also doing good. My nose has healed back to life. The champion goes to my forehead. What a difference. You can also put these like acne serums on your chest, on your back. If you have like chest acne or like back acne, I do that all the time. Cause leading up to my period, I also break out on the chest and the back area, so. And I think the lactic, remember at the beginning I said lactic acid is slightly hydrating. I feel like that's why it was able to work for me during this like really irritated time with the postbiotic ferment. For moisturizer today, I'm using this one from Medicube. It's got a bunch of Sika in it. I mentioned it in my most recent favorite moisturizer video. Nice and lightweight because I can feel today is really hot. Hey Google, what's the weather today? Today in New York, there'll be scattered thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 32 and a low of 21. Currently it's 26 degrees and mostly sunny. Sunscreen using the Biore UV Watery Essence. So good. See? Legit like I put nothing on. It's also on our shop now. We're expanding the amount of sunscreens because sunscreen be important. Very nice. Because all my like active breakouts are essentially gone. I am going to keep using the exact kind of same routine just to show you guys that like, oh my God, so rude. I am talking. Just to show you guys that using the same products can help with post acne hyperpigmentation. I'm just dealing with a little bit of darkness in this area and show you how much these can lighten in the next two days. So we're doing a whole five days. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Make sure you're subscribed if you haven't. And I'm going to get ready and go to work. Oh, righties. Just got out of the shower. I'm going to put on these new hair turbans. This is one that we're going to stock on the shop very soon. And it's like, it's so soft. After you get out of the shower, like wring your hair out. And then... You wrap it around and then twist. And then inside there's a little elastic that goes on this cute little button. Voila! Look how clear my skin is. I'm actually shocked myself. Like, look at this guy. It is completely flat. Tonight, Thought I'd mix it up and use one of my favorite masks. This is the I'm From Mugwort Sheet Mask. It's great for redness, irritation, just soothing, calming, and it's like really good. I'm just gonna put like a few drops of this just for a little bit of continuing to just exfoliate the hyperpigmentation and like post acne marks over here. So I want to let that sink in a little bit before we put on a really calming mask. Okay, so it comes like this. And like, it's Friday night. I feel like we should treat ourselves for existing through another week in this thing called life. I will come back in maybe like 20 minutes. Yeah, I am back. Oh God, what is this look? This is a look. Okay. Bing. 
So masks are basically like serums. So you gotta finish with a moisturizer. For tonight, I'm going to use one that I haven't used in a while because I just didn't think it was the right time to use it while my skin was freaking out. But back to the favorite, Selwa Su Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream Classic. This one is the thicker one, but it actually works for all skin types. It really just depends on like when you use it, how you use it, how much. It does smell like the ginseng. I try to find the roller because I want to like roll out my muscles, but you can just like take two fingers like this and just roll and then you're done. Boink. Okay guys, so I am going to call it a night. It has been a hectic week, but I just want to remind you guys that skin is not just about skincare. It really is about taking care of yourself, drinking enough water, eating good nutrients. You know, like if you have any symptoms like me of kind of PCOS or hormonal imbalance, it's like even more important to take control of your diet and you're balancing the amount of sugar. It just makes the world of difference and also sleep. I can't stress enough. I think sleep is one of the most underrated things to achieving clear skin, but also like a healthy mind. So yeah, just make sure you're taking care of yourself on that note. Ding. Drink a little cup of water before you go to bed. And that's it. See you in the morning for day something. Good night. Good morning. Dude. Okay, so I just went to brush my teeth and change my t-shirt so you're not always looking at me in the same pajamas. Sweating. It's so hot. Oop. Okay, so I'm gonna do my morning routine. We're gonna change it up a little bit because it's the freaking weekend. Which really doesn't change up much. <laughs> I'm not gonna wash my face, but I'm gonna use the Dr. Jart Derma Clear, it's the micro water. So it's just like a cleansing water. Ta da! I'm gonna use this little guy. It's the Super Egg Kind Atmosphere. It's got all these lovely antioxidants and soothing, calming ingredients. For more antioxidants in the form of black tea kombucha, I'm using the Pyong Kang Yul black tea boosting serum it is beautiful it's like this tea color gel dude i feel my skin and it's smooth the medicube sika cream let's see if i can squeeze it under my face <laughs> i'm gonna go in with the biore watery essence Thank you. And that's it guys, literally you might think that routines take a bajillion years because our videos are quite long, but IRL, it's like less than five minutes. All right, so we're going to this cute little Japanese cafe that I have been trying to get into for a really long time, but the wait is always just too long and so I give up. Hey Google, turn off the living room AC. Okay, let me show you the disaster from last night. Oh my God, <gasps> look how nice my skin looks, guys. <laughs> like I'm saying this obviously not as a brag. It's like I'm genuinely shocked. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the mess from last night. I went on a snacking rampage. So I got these snacks from Tesso. Got some milk bar crack pie. Oh my god, oh my god. But you know what? I just want to tell you guys, you can still live your life. Eat the things you want to eat, you know. Just be very aware what you're getting yourself into so that the expectation is balanced and you're all good. 
good. Hope you enjoyed this morning. I'll be back tonight. Bye. Okay, Hello. Okay, so it is now 10.30. I'm just going to go in with this Innisfree. This is the Dewy Glow Jam Cleanser. Instantly bright. I'm going in with this. I just love doing clay masks on especially like hot humid days because I just feel like my pores just gunk up even more. So I just like put it all over. It's like face painting. All over. Especially around the T zone. And this one's really good because it doesn't actually dry. A lot of the clay masks leave your skin feeling so like sucked of dehydration, but this one, no matter how long you leave it on for, it's still like really flexible and comfortable. That is all, we shall be back. Bing. And we're back. Okay, so as you can see, I'm still like, very able to move my face. It's so good. It's so good, guys. This mask is like the best. Time to take it off. Wow, skin is bling, bling, bling empire on my face. <laughs> and then moisturizer. But going in with the trusty ginseng. So there is one thing that I've noticed that really helped my skin this week and it's consistency. A lot of the time when I'm not going through breakouts or when, you know, on a normal kind of week, I am kind of chopping and changing different products all the time, whether that's because we're testing new products or I kind of just depend on my mood, what I'm feeling, but because I was going through the irritation and, you know, flakiness and itchiness, especially like you guys saw the first three, four days, I was using the same thing consistently day and night. And I feel like that consistency really helped to bring my skin back on track. Cause I was thinking, what did I do differently? And like my skin is kind of feeling better than it has been for a long time and so yeah i feel like if you're just going through things just try to keep it simple stick to the same routine and just let time heal it so yes this is the state of the skin and i'm honestly very tired again oh my god once you hit like when i hit 28 and a half i feel like I can't stay up late anymore. My knees hurt when I like walk too much and sit too long. <laughs> like, oh my god. Uh, anyway, age is upon us. Good night. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I am back. It has been about a week and I wanted to show you guys the update on my skin using everything from soothing toners to the Bye Bye Breakout Serum and just like nourishing my skin back to health and what that looks like. So I wanna show you the same sections I showed you and maybe just my forehead as well. Okay, so this is my forehead. There's like just tiny little, oh God, that's like dirt. Like, it's really interesting to see how every section of my face has very different pores. And like, it's flatter up here. So there's definitely pores, but I would say they're like relatively... They're not like intense, you know what I mean? They're like kept at bay. Okay, so that's pretty good. I enjoy that. All right, now let's go to the chin, which is should all be flattened over the course of this week. Oh my God, guys. Wait, that is so, okay. I was like, that is so clear. Okay, so this is hyperpigmentation. 
Um, I think we saw that one a little earlier. You can see it's like all flat, but whoa, this section is so clean. They literally died. Oh, what's this one? That one's also another, like, because you can see I still have the acne marks that are just slowly fading away actually they're like much better than obviously at the beginning of the week now let's go to this guy um which was it reared its ugly head hold on i can't even remember where it was was it this ah! wow guys it's just a little nub and like that is so interesting. It's like completely just dried. It's like all flat now. All right, well anyway, so I just thought that would be fun to show you kind of like the whole week progression and how different ingredients can really just help to calm down the inflammation and active pimples, but also those same ingredients can help with the post hyperpigmentation. So I'll continue to use everything that I've used and I feel like it has been such a good way to document the journey of our breakouts and kind of just like how to deal with them on a daily basis. It's not like a one day fixes all thing. And honestly, like I don't think the camera can even tell how just in pain and irritated I was at the beginning of the week before I started this. If you saw me in real life, you would see that it was just so irritated, so bumpy. It was red, it was crispy, and like the camera just can't pick that up. But in real life, it wasn't great. And when I washed my face, it just felt really bad. But now it's like a whole different situation. My skin has that like flexibility back. It has that soft, Kind of plumpness back there's no itchy and drying like dehydrated skin and yeah so i actually really enjoyed filming this let me know if you have any questions check out all the products below i highly recommend you guys try out that serum because in my mind it really is a contender of the paula's choice and i really enjoyed using that so yeah that is all for this week see you in a new video which will be very soon thank you so much for watching Bye.